Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. A couple of days ago I did a video talking about how uh, if you have the skills and the roster and the confidence, even if it takes a few revives, particularly if they're already in your inventory, it's worth it to spend 400 units to get all the threat level 5 bundle. Uh, you know, the 400 units for all the threat level 5s for the all four episodes of this month's side quest. And so I put out that video and I heard from a couple people on the scene that said, Prof, I get what you're saying, but I don't have the skills or the confidence or the roster to do threat level 5. I can barely do threat level 3, and I'm trying to do threat level 4, but even 4 is tough. And 4 does uh, have an average PI of about uh, thirty to 40,000 in these defenders, which is better than most of the most difficult side quests before this new revamped version. And so I am um, cognizant of that. But if you're a throne breaker, even if you're cavalier, and you have the means to complete this, this 400 units, I just completed the last one, this 400 units is so good for all these threat level fours. And you'll notice this one in particular, I was able to get two tier four basic, which I need. The usual shapes and sizes, crystal shards, which I'll open quite a few of those tonight on the broadcast. 3,750 five-star shards, and then 10 five-star six stones, of which I need to start using those things up. Um, basically, here's the deal. What makes this particular offer so smart, such a no-brainer, besides the fact that threat level 4 is obviously easier than threat level 5, is the... And I took a screenshot of this. The chapter, I believe it's episode 3, that's a glitch. Or at least I'm convinced it's a glitch because it has better rewards in terms of guaranteed value than threat level 5. First off, in episode 4, you'll get this, which is 20,250 tier 5 basic catalyst fragments. And that, by itself, is usually... Um, about half the price of 400 units in the Catalyst store. But it's this that's so remarkable. 2,250 six-star shards for 400 units by itself. If you were just to, to do that purchase, that's better than most anything we've seen on non-Cyber Week or, uh, say, uh, spring cleaning or July 4th offers during the year. This used to cost about a thousand units to get two thousand six star shards. It used to be a two to one ratio uh, for the longest time for unit offers. And I talked about that in the last five years on my channel about how Kabam was really into giving the price tags that were uh, X amount of six star shards for units. Now they went away from that, thankfully, but this is still something that for units, not for cash, because obviously. I still think the best deal, particularly for Throne Breakers and especially Paragon players, is the $5 daily special stamp system that gets you 15,000 six-star shards for every seven uh, daily specials purchased or 10,000 six-star shards for every uh, purchased. Or, if you're Cavalier, it gets you uh, 7,500 six-star shards or a Cavalier Nexus Crystal. Um, and by Cavalier Nexus Crystal, I mean a... Um, Mythic Nexus Crystal is what I was trying to say. So, this by itself is worth 400 units, but of course you get so much more than that. You also get a chapter that gives you three Tier 4 Class Catalyst Selectors. And you get um, a whole sort of other rank-up resources, of course. Uh, the most frustrating part of this continues to be some of those final fights for just the, the side quest Crystal Shards. I think, man, is this even worth it? And I forgot... That first episode had a really tricky second fight that actually had to just force quit out of Hercules because it was smarter to just go back in with Nick Fury, and that was the Gladiator Hulk fight. So let this be a reminder of that for you. But either way, if you have the roster to do it, everyone should purchase the Threat Level 4 bundle. It's a no-brainer. This on screen by itself is worth 400 units, and I am happy to promote good offers on my channel, as always.